Good morning. How are you? My kids, I wish to try my five. So today the title of our lesson is The Law of Iron. Okay? So let's do the first question. Here we have 3 multiplied by 4 plus 6. Okay? So, so now let's say calculate what is inside the brackets or calculate what is outside the brackets. Yes? Very good. We should calculate what is inside the brackets. So 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. Okay? 12 plus 6 gives us 18. Very good. Then here 7 plus into brackets 11 minus 6. So I make 7 plus 11, then minus 6, or I will just subtract 6 from 11 that is inside the brackets, then I will add 7. The second one is correct. Very good. So why? Because big mass, B I. Okay. Tells that this is the brackets. Okay. We will calculate what is inside the brackets first. Then, if we don't have brackets, we move to indices or index. Then, if we don't have, let's say, index, we move immediately to division. Okay. Division. Then, if we don't have division in any calculation, move to multiplication. Okay. Multiplication. Okay. If we don't have multiplication, we will move to addition. Okay? Addition. Then the last one, if we don't have addition, we move immediately to subtraction. Okay? Subtraction. Is it clear? Okay. So here we have brackets. I should calculate what is inside the brackets first. 3 multiplied by 4, 12 plus 6 gives 18. The next one, 11 minus. 6 gives 5, very good. 5, then 7 plus 5 gives 12. Excellent. The next one. Here we have brackets. I will calculate what is inside the brackets. 14 divided by 7. Then I will add 13. Okay, 14 divided by 7 gives 2. 2 plus 13 gives what? Gives 15. Good boy, very good. The next one. 2 plus 3 into brackets minus 4 minus 3 into brackets so I shall calculate the sum of these two numbers in the first brackets then I will calculate the difference of these two numbers in the second brackets then I will subtract the output in the second brackets from the output and that is on the first brackets means 2 plus 3 is 5 minus 4 minus 1 is 3 so 5 minus 3 is 2. Very good. Good boy. Then 14 minus 6 into parentheses multiplied by into brackets 3 plus 4. I will use, I will calculate what is inside the brackets. First, 14 minus 6, my kids. Yes? You, very good. 8, excellent. Multiply by 3 plus 1, 4. Very good. Okay. Now 8 multiplied by 4 is? 32. Good boy. Good. Then, the next one. We have uh, an operation inside the brackets. Then I will multiply by 4. Okay. So I make 27 divided by 9 first. Then I will divide this by 4. Good. 27 divided by 9 gives only 3. 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. Very good. Good boy. The next equation. I can read it. Okay, question number two. Write true or false. Write if this statement are true or false. Okay, and give a reason. For example, the first one, my kids, what we have? 3 plus 6 into brackets, or multiply by 2. Okay, is it 3 plus 6 multiplied by 2? True or false? Yes? First of all, my kids, this is the brackets, isn't it? I will calculate this. Okay, 3 plus 6, 9. Okay. Multiply by 2. 9 multiplied by 2 is 18. Okay. But, look here. 6 multiplied by 2. 8. 
Verse 3 is 11. So it's not true. This is false. Why? What is the reason? Because we should multiply that is inside the brackets, then we multiply by 2. Okay? The next one. Here we have 6 plus in the brackets, 8 divided by 2. I will divide this first. It will be 6 plus 4 gives them. This is the value on the right and the left hand side. The next one. 6 plus 8 into parentheses. I will add it. It will be 14 divided by 2, 7. Is it 10 equals 7? No, false. Okay, so this is false also. Okay, the, 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 the reason why we should calculate what is inside the brackets, then we add 6. Okay, not to make 6 plus 8 all divided by 2. Okay, the next question 7 minus 2 into brackets, all multiplied by 3. The logic tells that we should calculate what is inside the brackets. 7 minus 2, 5. Okay, multiplied by 3. Give it 15. Okay, the first one gives 15. But the next one, this is 7 minus 2 multiplied by 3. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. Is it 15 equal 1? False, of course. Why? Because we should calculate what is inside the brackets, then we should multiply by 3. Okay? The last one, we have 5 multiplied by 3 minus 5. Okay, 5 multiplied by 3, this is multiplication. We don't have brackets, we don't, we don't have index, and we don't have division, we move to multiplication. This is 15 minus 5 equal 20. Okay, then the next 5 multiplied by 3 is also 15 minus 5. Okay, sorry, 15 minus 5 is, is 10. Then 15 minus 5 is and 10 equal 10, so it's true. Okay, this is true. The next one, this one. 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 5. Is it 3 multiplied by into brackets? 4 multiplied by 5? Of course, yes. This is true. Okay, question number 3. Put brackets in these calculations to make them correct. We have 4 calculations. And we will try to make some brackets to make this calculation true. Okay. 6 plus 2, then multiply by 5. Where exactly to where can you put the brackets? If we put it here, 2 multiply by 5, 10 plus 6, 16, but the answer is 40. So we should put brackets here like this. We can calculate this. 6 by 2, 6 plus 2, 8. 8 multiplied by 5 gives us 40, correct? Okay? For B, we have 3 plus 4 multiplied by 2 plus 4. Okay? How can you make it? 42 is it? 6 multiplied by 7. Yes? So, what do you think here? 3 plus 4 is it 7? Yes. Then multiply by 2 plus 4. Is it 6? Yes, of course, it will be equal to 42. Then 3 multiply by 4 plus 2 equal 18. How can you do it? I will give it a set. The second to think of this question. Okay? The question is put the brackets to make this calculation true. 3 multiply by 4. Plus 2. Okay. Question, question, question 3. Yes? Okay. How can you write 18? 3 multiply by 6, isn't it? Or 2 multiplied by 9 or 1 multiplied by 18. Okay? But here we have 1. If you use 2, we have an addition. So don't need to do this. Also, this one, no need. So we can use only this. 
a pair of numbers that multiply to give 18. This is 3 my kids, multiply by the sum of 4 and 2. Ok, 3 multiplied by 6 gives us 18. The next one, here we have 4 plus 3 plus 2 multiplied by 2 gives us 18. Ok. As here we have a number 2 multiplied, so what is 18 divided by 2 is 9. Ok, give numbers that the total of these numbers gives 9. For example, 4 plus 3 plus 2 gives 9. So 9 multiplied by 2 is always 18. The question number 4, calculate it. Ok, here we have 7 plus 2 multiplied by 4. So, I will calculate multiplication first. I will make in a 7 plus 2 by 4 is 8. Give us 50. Okay? So the answer is 50. Good. Good boy. The next 5 multiplied by 8 is 40. Minus 4. Give us what? Give us 36. So the answer is 36. Okay, here we have 15 plus 20 divided by 5. 20 divided by 5, move to uh, bypass. We have brackets, then the decimal, then division, then multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So I should move to division. So I will write here 15 as it is not change. Plus 20 divided by 5 gives 4. Okay, 15 plus 4, yes, it will be 19. Good boy. 9. The next one, 17 minus 6 multiplied by 2. Uh, look, my kids, we cannot make 17 minus 6 then we multiply by 2, okay? We should make multiplication first. I will write here 17 as it is not change. 6 by 2 is 12. So, 17 minus 12 is, is 5. So, the answer of this calculation is 5. The next one. 18 minus 16 all over 4. Okay, I will divide 16 by 4. Gives 4. And there is an end of sign I will write it here. 18 I will write it here. 18 minus 4 is? Yes, is 14. Very good. So what is the answer? The answer 18 minus 16 divided by 4 is 14. And the next one. I will calculate the product of 6 and 4. And then the product of 3 and 5, then I will subtract this product from the first one. 4 by 6 or 6 by 4 is 24 minus 5 by 3 or 3 by 5 is 15. Okay, equal what? Equal? Yes, equal 9. So the answer is 9. Thank you for listening, my kids. Okay.